Hello everyone, this is G Manish from Sri Vengreshwara College of Engineering from Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Today we are going to discuss on topic High Performance Software Load Balancer for Cloud Native Architecture. The contents of the slides are Introduction, Literature Review, Methodology, Results and Discussion, Conclusion and References. Coming to Introduction, Load Balancer is a critical component of modern IT infrastructure that helps distribute network traffic efficiently and intelligently across multiple servers or nodes. It acts as a mediator between clients and servers, routing incoming requests to most appropriate servers based on various factors such as server capacity, performance and availability. Load balancer ensures that no single server is overwhelmed with traffic and helps improve application availability and scalability and performance. Load balancer comes in different types and configurations such as hardware based, software based and cloud based. In this presentation, we will explore the key concepts, benefits and best practice of load balancing and how it can help organization achieve their business goals more efficiently. Coming to objectives of the presentation, to deploy load balancing nodes and apply rules in load balancing nodes in containerized environment, to implement and load balancer with sufficient performance in commercial cloud environment, to implement load balancer based on eBPF and XDB. To implement load balancer which exhibits excellent performance. Coming to literature survey, we have to around 8 papers for literature survey. And the first one has titled as Performance Evaluation of Load Balancing Algorithm Using Cloud Analyst proposed by A. Singh and R. Kumar, which uh, was in uh, comprehensive evaluation of various load balancing algorithms using cloud analyst disadvantages of uh, that it was not accurately reflect real world scenarios the second paper was titled as dynamically adjusting scale of kubernetes clusters under quality of service proposed by qvu jvu lelu esquine and gq it has uh, practically implementations for cloud administration and optimized the scaling of kubernetes it, has, it was only uh, designed for small and medium sized Kubernetes, but not for uh, large and extra large for Kubernetes. And another paper we studied as Kubernetes as an availability manager for microservice application, proposed by Elia Vagian and um, MNS Ayat. It has uh, the feature to monitor, manage, and ensuring high availability and fault tolerance. It is not uh, Tested in the real world cloud environment, but it was a great approach by Elia Wagam MSIR. Another paper was proposed taken as title Container Orchestration Engine, a throw functional and performance comparison, which was proposed by IMNA Javarni and Bella Vista, F. Bosi, L. Foshi, and some others. Uh, it was uh, a comparison of several container orchestration including Kubernetes, Docker Swim, Apache, Mesos, and Nomen. The container orchestration engines was the primary constraints of the paper, but does not uh, consider for other aspects of uh, cloud application management. The next paper title as Performance Analysis of Container Network Interface Based Container Network proposed by Y Park, H. Chang, and Y Kim. It was an uh, in-depth analysis of performance of container network interface based container network. The experiments conducted are on specific set of configuration and workload types. Another paper was named as Joint Orchestration of Network Function Chains and Distributed Cloud Application proposed by HR Kosh Kesari, T. Dairich and H. Kaur. It was a novel approach to joint orchestration of network function chains and uh, disrupted cloud applications. The authors did not compare their proposed approach with other existing approaches for joint orchestration of network function and distributed cloud applications. Another paper is titled as Implementation of an Edge Computing Architecture using OpenStack and Kubernetes. Proposed by E. Christiani, C. T. Young, Y. T. Wang and C. Y. Huon. It was an implementing an edge computing architecture using OpenStack and Kubernetes. The paper did not provide any detailed analysis of the scalability of the proposed architecture. Another, another paper titled as Next Generation Cloud Computing New Trends and Research Directions proposed by Vargesi, 
B and R Buya. It provides a comprehensive review of the latest trends and research directions in next generation cloud computing but does not present any original research which may limit its impact and appeal to certain readers. Coming to methodology of the proposed uh, load balancer. The load balancer uses direct server return which is divided into two types L2 DSR and L3 DSR. We use L2 DSR which returns the request directly to the user. The rules of load balancer are based on custom resource definition which is custom object provided by Kubernetes ABI. We implement load balancer using extended Berkeley packet filter and express data path which are shortly known as eBPF and XDB. The hashing needs to be performed by load balancing node and to experiment the proposed load balancing we use RFC 2544 and IMIX which is going to test in real world scenarios. The figure shows the various clusters in cloud and their relationship. It contains uh, different clusters such as Ringo cluster, shared cluster, open stack and load balancing control clusters. Coming to Ringo clusters, these install and manages other clusters on other services but also manages itself. Shared clusters contain application related to storage and monitoring which require common access from other clusters. OpenStack uh, contains two groups of work. First group is OpenStack ABI servers such as Nova, Neutron, Keystone, Cider and many more. And the second group invo involves uh, virtual machine created by users, DHCP agent and many more. The load balancer control cluster divided into two types which is load balancing cluster and control cluster. So that when a problem occurs the load balancer will remain unaffected. The figure shows process of setting up load balancing nodes and L2 DSR by load balancing node. The red arrow in the figure indicates the series of steps in which packet matching rules are applied to load balancing node. The blue arrow indicates a case in which inbound traffic destined for VIP of load balancing node A is forwarded to virtual machine A1 by hashing algorithm. Hashing algorithm takes place a crucial role in our load balancing. However, to arrange entire hash table, a virtual machine can easily join and leave the real target pool. So, rules in each hash table can be replaced frequently. If one virtual machine entry added or deleted from hash table, the position of other existing entries may change. This is called hashing disruption. To solve this, we use maglev hashing mechanism. It allows location of existing entire to change as little as possible when new entries are added to hash table or deleted. By default, the number of virtual machines that our hash table can support is 4096. As RFC2544 defined, we have constructed experimental environment by connecting two servers with single switch. We tested 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 1280, 1510 total 7 frame sizes. The switch connecting each server acted as a bridge that only flooded incoming packets to the port connected to the other server. The performance is tested in real world by using IMIX. Coming to the results of our, our presentation. The graph 1 and 2 shows throughput at L2 and L1 levels in BPS. The graph 3 shows the performance of each frame size for TCP traffic at L2 level which are almost same as 1. The graph 4 shows the result of graph 1 in terms of PB, PBS. The proposed LBN was only approx 24% lower than the realistic uh, maximum performance. When frame size was 128, the difference was 3%. The performance is constant at larger frame size. In worst case, the performance of LBN was 16 times better. We even tested our LBN in IMIX. The graphs 5 and 6 shows BPS and PPS result for IMIX traffic. 
the proposed LBN was 27 times better. The applications of our load balancer are web application, API server, database server, video streaming, gaming services, and file sharing applications. Coming to conclusion, we can say that our experiment results indicates that throughput of proposed LBN was significantly better and difference in performing as packet size decreases with perform increase in performance. The proposed LBN is based on eBPF and XDB which already exhibits excellent performance. Thank you.